Since I'm on a Dodge and Chrysler Rampage here, I'm going to keep going here with these two products. I don't understand why when I go on this website, I see one vehicle for sale. You can't count that because it's a 2023 model. It's 2024. So you have a Chrysler Pacifica. And if we go to Dodge, again, it shows all these models, which is only four, but really there's only two, the Hornet and the Durango. So between Dodge and Chrysler, what used, used to have a million different models are now down to three combined. So SRT is, is almost dead. And Ram trucks now have more models in their lineup than Dodge and Chrysler do combined. Here's where I don't understand. How did, let, let's, let's look back 10 years ago. 10 years ago, Dodge had the Durango, the Journey, the Charger, the Challenger, the Dart. Five different models unique models chrysler had the town and country 300 and 200 three different models a pretty good operation going on there and even if we go back farther to 15 years you had the durango the journey the caliber the uh uh Charger, Challenger, Magnum, six different models to choose from just for Dodge alone. Chrysler, you had the Pacifica minivan, or the not the Pacifica minivan, the Pacifica SUV, the 200, or also the Sebring, the 300, the Town and Country minivan. So you had a million different products from these, these awesome companies and now we're down to just three so i'm telling you dodge has built up one of the best brand recognitions and brand equities that or i should say chrysler has that any automobile could have ever done with their srt line their 300 charger challenger magnum oh i forgot to mention the crossfire is in there and now it's dead I'm just very frustrated as a Mopar man. If you watch my other videos, you realize how many Mopar products that myself and my family own. And now it's just dead. So where does Dodge go from here? You built up years, 20 years. Even the cat is wondering what happened. You built up 20 years of brand equity. And now it's gone. I am totally fine seeing the Hornet in the lineup. I'm totally fine seeing the Pacifica in the lineup. What I'm not fine seeing, no more 300, no more Charger, no more Challenger. Where are your vehicles? I want to see electric vehicles. I want to see plug-in hybrid vehicles, which we're starting to see. And I want to see big V8 vehicles. Dodge used to be a brand for the people. For the people. Chrysler did too. American luxury. America done right. Dodge. Performance. Power. Now it's gone. Is Dodge turning into the Pontiac of the 2000s? That's what I'm wondering. What the hell is Delantis doing here with these products and these companies? Years and years of brand recognition just dumped. They had such a good lineup that they could have built off of in 2005 with the Magnum, the Caliber. You know, now you could look at the Caliber as the Hornet. And what happened to that? It's all gone. It's just so frustrating. This is even more frustrating. You have one model to choose from, and now they're just splitting this up 
because you know you need more than one model as a major American manufacturer on your website. You can't even buy this vehicle anymore. What the hell is that doing on the website? And look at how good that vehicle looks. God damn it. Ah. Oh. Yeah. Gone now. Gone forever. Gone forever. Yeah. Performance vehicles. Gone. Gone. Here for 2024, although they haven't updated that yet. Here, of course. Gone. Gone. All gone. Dodge is losing its way. Stellantis is running Dodge into the ground. And it's a damn shame. You know, a, a brand equity that is most notorious with V8s, most notorious with power... Everybody knows what a Hellcat is. Everybody knows what an SRT vehicle is. Hell, my damn near 60-year-old mother has one of those vehicles. Gone now. Give it, look at that. Oh, God, it's just, it's frustrating to look at here. And I just get so goddamn worked up when I do these videos. You know, it's like... It's a company that you live and you die with, and now it's dying. What is differentiating these cars from other competitors now? That Charger video I just did. What is differentiating that car, it should be called a Challenger, from other vehicles? I don't care if it's battery electric. I don't care if there's a six-cylinder option. Offer the eight-cylinder V8 option still. Otherwise, now you have to work on 20 more years of brand equity. There goes 20 years down the toilet, and now you have to work on another 20 years of brand equity to get this brand back to where it was in 2023. Where do you go from there? What do you do? What Where... What's your brand vision? We haven't seen any brand vision from Dodge or Chrysler. We've heard it from Stellantis. We've seen what they're doing with Ram and with Jeep. It appears that they have some sort of vision for those two brands. Hell, along with Fiat, along with Alpha. We've seen what they're doing with those, and those cars don't even sell that well in America. The Durango just had its highest. It's been out in its form WK form or WD form since 2011, it had its highest selling year in 2023. That's insane. The architect on that vehicle is from the mid 2000s and it's selling that good. And now we're getting rid of that. We're quitting it cold turkey. Where is the, the, the vision for the brand, the mission statement. What is going on here? I own a business. I understand what it takes to make money. Apparently, these people don't hear. And by God, it's a damn shame. They're advertising this, but I can't buy one of these. No? <laughs> It's sad. It's sad. I love Dodge and Chrysler, Chrysler products in general, Jeep, Ram, everything. I'm going to continue to buy them. It's just, it is what it is. But seeing this kills me inside. It kills me. I'm just very frustrated. I, 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 I don't know where the brand goes from here. I really don't. And if you're a customer of Dodge, if you're a shareholder, you should ask yourself that as well of Stellantis. Where is this company going? What is the CEO? What what is uh, what, what are they doing here? You know, what are they doing? I I don't get it. I guess we have yet to see. We have yet to see. What an iconic picture. My rant is over.
Dodgers dead. Unless they can show me otherwise. They are holding on to a two-pound test of line as a 100-pound fish. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. And here, here we go. In a world of lambs, be the lion. The 2023 Dodge Charger SRT models rule their domain with the Charger SRT Hellcat Red Eye offering best-in-class horsepower. This is Dodge in a nutshell. In a world of lambs, be the lion. You have no more lions. You have lambs. <laughs> you buried your own grave. <laughs> uh, I give up. I give up. Nobody listens. I give up.